enjoyed that Tim Hortons was kind of tempting, I have to say. Because I did have two coffees, but when am I going to get to have a third one? I usually have a third one by noon. At the funeral? Yeah. Uh, uh, they might not, actually. Yeah. I figured I should wait. I, should, I, I drink too much coffee anyway. Hey, what's happening, guys? Elton here with my bro. What up? My brother Jason. We're uh, early in the morning here, and we're heading... Wow, that's weird. Did you guys see that, the, where they put the price of gas in? Anyway, we're heading towards uh, Trois-Rivières, or as the Anglos call it, Three Rivers, and I think, figure, well, this is a great opportunity to film some of this foliage. It seems to be, it seems to actually be early this year, as Jay and I discussed, because what are we today, the 26th? I guess it's about right. It's just that I think we had a, quite a few days where it was cooler than usual, and uh, my brother was cool enough to come and pick me up at the metro, actually, because I couldn't go with my parents, because... Uh, uh, they they were already taking uh, my, my father-in-law's brother and we're going to my father-in-law's mother's funeral and uh, That's a beautiful morning. It's nice nice day for a drive and we're having this interesting discussions about life and death and Trump and uh, Coronavirus and big business and cargo ships and cars and what else are we talking about Jay? Uh, he was just telling me about some artist named Rodriguez, which yeah. I feel embarrassed to say I never heard of in my life because I'm all about the old school and we just had Santana playing on the radio. Everybody loves Santana. And uh, my brother, when he picked me up in this car, yeah, a lot of people are going uh, going north. They're going to their cottages and stuff. But anyway, he's had this car since 2008, this Kia Rondo, which uh, I really love the color of it more than anything, but you can't really see it because it's like this metallic brown. And uh, he's got 140,000 kilometers on it. And he does. it's really a secondary car, but actually it still rides quite nice, even though... Uh, I'm not a fan of these types of cars, uh, obviously you know me well, but it's, it's got a pretty good damn ride, a pretty damn good ride I should say, and uh, especially considering that uh, Jay and I are from an era where like, you know, these cars were non-existent here in North America, and uh, even if you bought a Hyundai, it was a bucket, piece of junk, piece of crap. Remember ponies? Hyundai pony, we had a neighbor at a pony, I remember I rode in it once. I remember even at that time, I was sitting up this high, actually, from the dash. I thought it was so strange. I was like, why am I so high up? And it's like, we're riding Daz Delta, and I'm sitting, like, the dash is, like, this high, <laughs> like, up like this, you know. And, like, no wonder I loved, loved that car, you know. So just remember, Jay, you have carte blanche, but you don't, eh? Hey, I know somebody lives in Louisville. He's a paramedic. He wants me. Hey, look, there's another. I know, I know, but it sounds like Louisville. Let's not talk about Louisville, right? If you know what I mean, wink, yeah. wink. You look good there. You look pretty dashing in your suit there. You look like you're going to go have a fucking business meeting there. Thank and, you, uh, young man. Even me, myself, very high. Talking to Joe, you know, looking, looking good in the rear view mirror here. Hello! Yeah. Well, it could be worse. Could be riding in this little shit box here, right? Eh? Oh, my God. That's look at this. This is, look at this. This is like the third Dodge Ram pickup I see on, the highway, on this highway, and the guy's going faster than everybody else. It just goes to show you, it's a fact. Generally speaking, people drive big pickup trucks, they feel a sense of empowerment, and yeah. they drive like hell. Yeah. It's normal, it's just like, it's psychological, you know? Same reason why you see people driving a, an old Corolla, they're, you know, they don't drive fast, they're often not very good drivers either, unfortunately, sadly, sorry to say, and nice color there. Let's see if we can see some trucking here. I think we're about, Maybe 40 clicks from from 12 you got? Oh, less than that. What? Less than that? Half hour? Maybe 20 minutes. Really? Probably. Got a black magic woman. Maybe 25 minutes. I got a black magic woman. I was going to tell you, Jay, that um, I remember uh, before mom and dad, before mom, yeah, before mom and dad got divorced, uh, we went to Coronet with uh, Mark Corelli, our neighbor. And we went to Coronet, and Dad had cleaned and waxed the Oldsmobile. It looked, it looked almost like new. Wow. And I remember on the way back, we went by Queen Boulevard, the, you know, the fun way to go back home to Roxborough. And, and, and the sun. Fun way? The, yeah, okay. that, yeah, you know, when you're on Queen there, it feels like you're in the country, you know, you go oh, by sure. Saputo's house yeah, and all okay. these big shacks. And, uh, and uh, Oye Komova came on the radio, probably on Trump, but Dad turned it up loud there, you know, Oye Komova. And it was just, I remember stuff like that. You know, we were talking about that earlier, like, the beautiful thing about nostalgia and how many songs do we remember uh, it, when we hear a song and, and it takes us back, especially at a certain time. It doesn't have to be a precise time, but a certain year or a time in our life, we remember exactly where we were, what we were doing. I, I, God knows how many songs I could think of are like that. 
Is that the car doing that? Wow. Maybe. I was a little worried there for a second because we're going uphill, eh? Look at another nice blue. Look at that. Still in the cruise, eh? Yeah. You're loving that cruise. I just told my, that's my brother. I said, you got cruise control because a lot of people, when they're talking, they're so focused on talking. I've noticed this even with city bus drivers that they, they'll like go gas, brake, gas, brake very easily because you're, you're focused on driving, but you're also focused on the conversation. So you're just being safe, you know, and not taking your eyes off the road. But I told him, I said, hey, don't you have cruise control? My dad, he loved cruise control. He always used the cruise control. And uh, I was impressive, impressive. I don't know if you've ever even used it in the 12 years he had the car and it works. I said, that's great because I told Jay, I said, a lot of times things when they're not used electrically, especially, they'll stop working. So it's an impressive little car. I have to say, but then again, maybe I'm trying to turn new leaf and you know be more open-minded about there things and like that time. It's all I, about the positivity. Like at that time, I got a lift back from. Uh, oh look, there's a Ford Flex, a very bizarre vehicle with a, a weird name, very weird you name. Got a lift back from from uh, Maud and uh, Guillaume when we mm. went to the cottage, and they had this old 2007 Corolla. Right. And I don't like these cars, you know. I hate them because they look so boring. But I have to say, this was like an LE or something. It was like a luxury model. Oh yeah. And it had a leather interior, and it, man, it had a nice ride. It was comfortable. I was yeah. sitting in the back. I didn't really uh, complain at all. No. I... The color, the nice color interior. You know, before you know when cars actually still had colors. You know, like it was like a. <laughs> no, but it was a luxury model because the color was like that khaki tan color. It was decent, you know. So. Uh... Are you still recording? Yeah. Okay. Man, you record for a long time. Oh yeah. The me record long time. <laughs> Black GI. Well, if we weren't in a hurry, I would say. Uh, 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 <laughs> if we weren't in a hurry, I would say pull over to that Tim's. But uh, we're kind of in a hurry. What time is it now? It's uh, 10:14. We gotta. Yeah, we gotta make, yeah, we make gotta tracks. Yeah. The ceremony the, is at 11, so we're all right. We'll be all right. Well, mom said 10:30, so. We'll no, she said to be there at 10:30, but the ceremony's at 11. Yeah. Yamashin. Yamash. Yamashin. Yamashish. Yamashish. Sorry. Birthplace of the longest-serving premier. Of Quebec history, Maurice Duplessis. Really? Yeah. He was a character. Yeah, wasn't he also under a lot of scrutiny? In which sense? With every fucking pickup passing us is white. Well, he was pretty corrupt. Why? My brother knows a lot about history, by the way. Maybe I should let him talk for what just moment. the way, Just the way things were. He was more open about corruption. He'd be like, uh, if you want a bridge, if your town wants a bridge, well, you gotta vote for my guy. You're not supposed to say that today. No, no. Of course. But it does happen, you know. Back then, it was much more uh, corruption was more transparent, let's say. Yeah, because a completely different time. It was hear no evil, see no evil. There was no yeah. internet. There was no uh, media all the time, 24/7, and, and people were better off actually. Because as the expression goes, like I just said, hear no evil, see no evil is true. I mean, I, even me and Jay were, you know, we're in our 40s and we're we're, we're product of, of of a time when you know violence. On the, for example, or swearing uh, was rampant in movies. And did we come off any worse? Did we go out and shoot people? And you know, no. I mean, it's just, it's just a different time. Now everything is more, much more censored, and people are more careful. You can't say this, you can't say that, and it's that's one of the reasons why I love those old cars because they're politically incorrect. I know oh, you laugh, but listen. A few days ago, I went for a walk. Right, I, I went to go to the second-hand store to look for some some. Uh, um, I don't know. I went to a second store to buy something. I walking back to my place in Ontario. Beautiful day, and and I see this uh, a '73 Chevy Biscayne. Really friendly guy. He's in his 40s. Big guy. And the guy told me the car had been sitting for 40 years. And the type of car that was junk really quick because they were used for fleets like taxis, police, company cars. You know, didn't have any value after so many years. Mm -hmm. And he starts it up for me, and it's a 350 V8, just like what was it, Dad's Oldsmobile, which was, by the way, the most notorious American V8 engine ever made. And and long, for, made for the longest time, too. And um, anyway, uh, the car's running, and we're sitting, standing in the back. I'm like, why? Can I interrupt you? Stop taping? 